live from the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California. It's the Cube covering DevNet Create 2018. Brought to you by Cisco. Okay, welcome back, everyone. We're live here in Silicon Valley in Mountain View, California. It's the Cube's coverage, DevNet Create. Here, I'm John Furrier, my co-host Lauren Cooney. Our next is Louis Louis Frolio, technical evangelist at IBM. Good to see you again. Thank you for uh, having great, me, Lauren. Good to catch John. up. IBM, love the Think shirt. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. It's great All to right, be so, here. So, what's going on for you here? Obviously, IBM partnering with Cisco. What's 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 going on? Well, here we're here to uh, help you know sort of promote the idea around uh, IoT analytics at the edge, right? Uh, with the idea of demonstrating a lot of the IBM products. Um, you know, I did a workshop today and you know, a lot of hands-on mechanical stuff, but also leveraging some of the uh, IOT technology uh, offered by IBM. So IBM Cloud, Cloud Analytics mainly is what you're doing. That's right. We've chatted in the past, going back to big data days, the Hadoop days when it was you know, fashionable, now it's kind of have a, there's more data lakes, not necessarily a central part of the conversation. AI is on it, obviously Mark Zuckerberg's you know, presenting in front of, or right. testifying in front of the Senate. That's right. It's all around AI and analytics. So obviously data, the data rules change, but here, conversation with Cisco is IOT, yes. because a lot of the network stuff, edge of the network, these are paradigms that are network inherently perfect for Cisco, That's for right. the edge. IBM does a lot of IOT, you do a lot of blockchain work as well. You know, this is all serving enterprises. So what's the big um, theme, real relevant theme for enterprises when it comes to things like, how do I use blockchain, or how do I use IOT, how do I incorporate that tech into my enterprise? Well, I think the first, you know, the first barrier is to just understand the technology and the limitations of that technology. Uh, so you mentioned blockchain. Uh, you know, I'm out quite a bit in the field talking to people, talking to partners, IBM partners, customers, potential customers, and there's this confusion uh, around what, say, blockchain is, what blockchain's all about. And the same with big data back in the day. You mentioned, you know, we met up at some conferences back then. Um, I think they need to understand what the technologies do, what they serve, the purposes they serve. So blockchain is fairly new, right? Um, there's a lot of confusion. It was the same with big data back in the day, very confusing. Yeah. IOT, you know, I, when we go out as a technical evangelist, my team, we go out and we talk to people, there's an appetite to learn more, to understand uh, what this IOT thing is and how can they use it? How, how, do, how can it help us uh, make more money? Um, what are they drilling down on? Or, or, or better yet, what are you evangelizing and what's, what are they receptive to? What's, what's working for them? What, are they, what resonates with the customers or potential customers that you guys talk to? Uh, first and foremost, the fact that you know, when we go out and we have live sessions and we train, we give them hands on right out of the gate. Within you know, 20 minutes, they have a bot, chat bot built. Uh, within an hour, we build a blockchain, right? With a, with a, and they do it, they see it, they experience it. And that excites them. Um, and, and then along the way, we also, we try to educate them on, you know, why, why this is important, this is how it can be used. Uh, you know, IOT is, uh, you know, th there's some confusion around that too. You know, how, how can I leverage this? Uh, but, I've also talked to customers where they're doing some cool stuff with the edge. And I think that leads to my next question actually, was, which is, what use cases do you see? What are customers talking about? You know, I think if you have people building blockchains and things along those lines, that's great, but what are they going to apply it to? Yeah, so there's a perfect example, uh, working with uh, a customer, and they, their business is around drones, you know, UAVs, um, to go out and look for anomalies um, on pipelines, oil pipelines. So they have a great technology, a drone, you know, it can go 100 kilometers an hour, um, it can go 100 kilometers in distance, but what they need, they really need to be able to look for things that shouldn't be there. So, computer vision, uh, you know, machine learning, deep learning, and so we're, we're working with them now to help them get the technology just right to live on the drone, to be able to do image recognition uh, highly, with high accuracy in real time. So the machine learning and the IOT working out on the edge. So is that Watson machine learning? No, no, because it that? has okay. to happen. No, we can do it with Watson today, right? Mm -hmm. 
The problem is you have to have that long haul communication with the cloud. Now this needs to happen on the drone in real time. Okay. So we're working with them to figure out you know, how we can achieve that. And mm -hmm. there's some things coming out of IBM in the near future that'll make that a bit easier. Great. And I think that that's an exciting, uh, awesome use case to be mm -hmm. able to do computer vision on the fly and you know, mm -hmm. using these neural networks to make decisions. I mean, the drone example is real life and it's one of those things where we've seen many uh, presentations and examples. One of them, I love, kind of, I'm a, a wireless geek, but I love the towers and I like to see how this, they send drones up there to look at the equipment right. and they look, look for repair. So it's all automated, it's all perfectly executed in the airspace, if you will, not namespace, but it goes in there, you know, uh, power lines. You know, drones are being used to clear That's right. debris and power lines. All kinds of use cases. I think Accenture once told us there was a use case where on um, car accidents or, or scenes where they got to take the road, the drones come in, do a full representation visual and reduces the that's right. To time to survey you, the scene. And along, you know, along that thread, you think about the wind farms, these huge wind farms, and they have to do inspections. You, you, some of these fields, you see there's 500 you know, turbines mm -hmm. out there. And so you need to get out there, and, and the drones are perfect for that. They can look at the blades, and you know, because they have the high speed cameras, and those blades are turning, they can still look for mm -hmm. defects and fractures and, and predict, um, you know, using analytics again out there, you know, predictive maintenance to mm -hmm. say, hey, you know, there's yeah. something going on here. Well, can you help us with the cube drawing? We need, we need to cube drone to go out and cover all of our events for us. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, I'd love to work <laughs> with you guys. Do our interviews. I'd love to work with you guys, that would be so, great. So, in all serious now, just kidding aside, is there a profile that you see with customers that resonates well, in terms of why are some people more successful now on the cutting edge? Is they, is they got the foresight, they got the budget, is it IT? What, what's the perfect configuration? What makes the customers yeah. more attuned to knocking down these low-hanging fruit scenarios? So, I'm going to say something that's obvious, and I'm sure you see it all the time, but it's just the risk, risk averse, you know? You need to put yourself out there, you need to be, you know, a next-gen thinker, and that's how we, you know, within my team, we think about going out and finding these next-gen partners, you know, born in the cloud, you know? They're, they're, they're thinking, they're, they're thinking beyond um, what's in front of you. So, the people that are doing these, this cool work, they're either, you know, really hardcore tech, you know, uh, like the drone example, or, these young entrepreneurs who really don't have much to lose and they have these great ideas, you know, certainly around blockchain. I've heard some, some cool ideas around blockchain, uh, what people want to do with it. And so, you know, they're small, they're agile, um, they have a vision, and they, they'll take the chance. You know, the theme here that's interesting, and Laura and I were talking about earlier, is that the co-creation model is really where the ideas are going to come mm -hmm. from. So, the old model was you pick some technology selection, and you put it to work, and you, that's you right. depreciate or amortize it over whatever period financially, the, the payback period, all that nonsense. Now to a world where all the ideas are coming from the teams themselves. Yeah. So the, the suppliers, the vendors, don't pitch, here's our IOT solution. That's Here's right. our IOT fabric, and that's the, these are the new approaches, the new posture for vendors, where it's the developers who are creating all the action. Yeah, it's certainly, you know, You see that? Look, yeah, 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 that's how, just, you know, the workshop we did here today, you know, someone wants to kick the tires and wants to learn, um, you know, you're not going to go to proprietary vendor equipment. It's like the big data back in the day, you know, everyone started with Hadoop, that was the center of it, right? Open source. Yeah. And it's the same here, so there's a lot of technology, open source, free technology, mm -hmm. for people to go out and do prototypes yeah. and figure out what they need to do. Um, and that's what we're seeing. People, you know, certainly when we go out and do our live events with IBM, hands on immediately. You know, you're doing IoT solutions right away, mm -hmm. so you can take it away. Um, and you can go back and then now you can apply it and build on it. So, it, you know, it's going back to just education and people understanding what these technologies are, how to use them, and, and how to get started, you know, the, the proverbial hello world program, you know? Is there a big event coming up for IBM you got, you're going to be going to, or is there, what's your schedule look like? You're on the road a lot. What are the big things you got going on? Oh, well, we just had Think out in yep. Vegas. I, you guys were there. I was you there. Was there. Yep. Yeah, it was awesome, it was awesome. We are all there. Um, and we had uh, IBM Index not too, long before that, so that's sort of like the developer uh, event like this. For us on the team I'm on, uh, we have schedules throughout the year to go through various cities. There are 15 of us all around the country, uh, you know, hosting meetups and, you know, initiating meetups, getting partner events, uh, co-hosting with Developers partners. or CXOs or? Oh, so we, we target the development team and we target the uh, you know the decision maker around making purchases 
right? So they need to be a part of that story. You know, we, can, we easily win over the developers with our technology. The hard part is, is winning over the people that sign the check, so uh, yeah, it's exciting. Awesome. Very well, hey, cool. thanks for stopping by. Great to see Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very um, much. Good job. Analytics at the heart of the IoT. Um, it's Louis Frolio, technical evangelist at IBM. You know, in the data is where all the action is. Obviously, the data is the center. You got AI, blockchain. That's IBM's vision. Love the love the new love the new messaging from IBM. Right on the money. We're here with DevNet Create here in Silicon Valley. More live coverage after this short break. <laughs>